all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel welcome back to yet another video it's Codebreaker gaming back with another dead by daylight gameplay video this will be my dvd build of the night and in tonight's video playthrough we're going to be playing as a killer that a lot of you have been uh neglecting a lot of you have been uh somewhat shitting on this guy but i'm going to tell you he's actually one of my favorite killers in the game and I mean base game not a license killer one of my favorite base game killers alongside Legion ladies and gentlemen tonight's video we're gonna be playing as the trickster but before we get into this DVD build of the day let's go over the perks the add-ons and the offer and I'm gonna be running for this build give you a brief explanation on what to expect so perk number one we're gonna be running with the merciless storm for those of you who don't know merciless storm activates when a generator reaches 90 percent progress survivors working on a generator will be faced with continuous skill checks if they miss a skill check or stop repairing that I will receive a notification and then the generator is blocked by the entity for 18 seconds which is crucial time for me to make my way to that generator and uh, tear these survivors a new asshole okay now after I'm done tearing them a new asshole we're gonna go with perk number two thrilling tremors so after picking up one of those survivors who I just tore a new asshole to all generators that are not being repaired by other survivors are being blocked by the entity and cannot be repaired for the next 16 seconds again that 16 seconds is crucial because it is stalling them from being able to start working on another generator while their buddy is being carried to a hook okay now affected generators are highlighted with a white aura so I'll know for locational purposes if I see the aura of a generator is not white but still red I know that is the next generator I need to head to to repeat the cycle of tearing a survivor a new asshole and then picking them up as these two perks work very well they have great synergy from one another perk number three we're gonna be running nowhere to hide now whenever I damage a generator it reveals the aura of all survivors standing within 24 meters of my position for three seconds this is great because it feeds me locational information on survivors 24 meters is quite a good amount of distance especially after damaging a generator because nine times out of ten survivors like to hide close to the generator <laughs> all right also we have a challenge where you have to damage six generators while this perk is uh, a part of my build so that's mainly the reason why we're running it for this build and lastly we're gonna be running eruption okay now after damaging a generator its aura is highlighted in yellow whenever a survivor enters a dying state every affected generator meaning every generator that has been charged with eruption explodes and it will lose 10% worth of progress and it'll start to regress now any survivor repairing a generator when it explodes will scream and reveal their aura for 10 seconds gen defense and locational information on survivors great great perk to use it's unfortunate it's only at level two for this build but at level three it becomes even more impressive for our add-ons we're going to be running the trick blades blades ricochet off the environment twice ricochet hits grant bonus blood points this is good because hitting them with blades gets you closer to activating your main events okay we're going to also be running the diamond cufflings which reveals survivors auras for six seconds when their laceration reaches one blade hit from maximum and for my offering actually no i'm going to change bloody party streamers to you guessed it the ebony memento mari my one of my favorite perks or offerings should i say in the freaking game this grants me the ability to kill at least one but in this particular case all survivors when they reach their second hook state and you know I am all about the gore and the violence as I am a killer main so those are the perks the offering and the add-ons so with that I'm gonna ready up while we're looking for a match for those of you who have not already done so, please take this time to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on your notifications so you'll be notified immediately when I upload another Dead by Daylight video or do another Dead by Daylight live broadcast. 
And if you enjoy Dead by Daylight yeah. as much as I do, we invite you to actually browse our Dead by Daylight playlist located here on the channel. It consists of over 100 videos dedicated to each individual killer, different gameplay styles, different builds for you to experiment with and come up with a build that suits your play style for whatever killer it is or killers you have decided to main in Dead by Daylight. Go ahead and smash that like button if you found that information valuable. And while you're at it, leave a comment below on what famous horror movie, video game, or television series killers you want to see brought to Dead by Daylight. What other licensed killers do you want to see here in the game? I think we're running out of options, to be honest with you. We just got the Xenomorph Alien and Chucky, the killer doll from Child's Play. And we got the return of the Demigorgon and the Stranger Things chapter. I'm being honest with you guys, there's not many killers, licensed killers that I can see being brought to the game. I think we are running out of options. Now, some rumors are that Jason Voorhees will be being brought to Dead by Daylight as the Friday the 13th game and all of the legal actions have come to an end. Friday the 13th, the game can no longer be purchased, and for those who already own it, you have one year left to play it before the servers go offline and the online mode is done. So with that being said, Jason Voorhees is one of the licensed killers that is rumored to be brought to the game, but keep in mind we already have a knockoff Jason in the game in the Trapper, Hockey Mask, Machete, Bear Traps, Overalls. You already know he's a knockoff Jason. A lot of you want to see Pennywise the Clown from It, which I think would be dope, but... Uh, we'll see how that pans out. Me, personally, I want to see the Candyman. I don't care which version, old or new, the Candyman would be a dope killer for Dead by Daylight, especially if you get Tony Todd to do the voiceover for him. That would be incredible. The Nun from the Conjuring Universe would be pretty cool as well. And if any of you guys have ever seen a television series called The Strain that comes on FX, there are these virus-infected vampires that have, like, uh, reptilian tongues that they, you know, or like kind of like frog tongues that shoot out of their mouth. I believe they call them stingers that shoot out of their mouths that they use to bite and drink blood from their victims. I think one of those things would be dope in Dead by Daylight. If you get a chance to check out the television series entitled The Strain, it is on the FX network and it is available on Hulu. I am pretty sure that is where I viewed it. So we're in the Gideon Meat Plant. This should be a fun map for the Trickster, especially with Trick Blades. Got a lot of uh, environmental surfaces to uh, bounce that ass off. We're not going to break any of these uh, any of these things open. We don't want them have. A, a, you know what? All the generators are, except one, are on the bottom level. There's no need for me to even go upstairs. I heard you. I heard you. <laughs> Eruption is primed. down now they're gonna run they really gonna run now that's the main event active want you smack that back up smack that back up you ain't got nowhere to go that eruption from that ass. Let's get you up. 
<laughs> you missed. <laughs> Idiot. Hey, he's going on a hook. <laughs> help him. Come help him. I don't care. I want you next. <laughs> Show ass up. It's a goofy ass up. They trying to body block me. Ain't that crazy? Somebody got you down. They didn't. This is gonna be easy because these guys are all about keeping each other off hooks. <laughs> see, see how easy this is becoming. That's because she thought I was gonna pick him right up. Now you're on the ground. Idiot. <laughs> good, good play. Throw her on the ground. Throw her down. Throw her down. You ain't helping him. She's trying to stall so these guys can complete gins. Oh, she ran off. I didn't think she was going to do that. Got that eruption in there. generator yet. If I was you, I would be scared. He trying to make it too big. You gonna save your peeps? Hey! 
Hey! Ah! Stay down here. <laughs> Main event active. Still hook her, that's gonna be crazy. <laughs> yeah, you gonna go help her? No, you're not. to help her. They're already up there. enemies with me can't save him finished. <coughs> and that's our 35k. Knock that shit down fast as hell. 
can't get to this one though, can you? Wow, they let him do it. Put her down. Put her down. I did not think they was gonna let him do that. They did though. No, we gotta kill these motherfuckers. They, 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 they having way too much fun now. Oh, look, look, look who's here. See how I did that? See how I played that? I can't believe they let her do that. That was stupid. that ass right out the locker. You ain't beat me to this hook, did you? <laughs> Come save her. Oh, you're back here now. She's gonna jump off. <laughs> Main event, baby. See you. He found the hatch. He found it, you piece of shit. Pick him up. He messed up the hook, though. There's one for you. We'll get one of them to the entity, maybe. <laughs> Be playing with me. My tricks are going hard in the paint. Give me all them iridescence. Give me all of that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's check these scores. 37k. 
Let's go. Let's get these points. Get this nowhere to hide off of here because it, 